So if you think of putting the customer at the center of the experience, number one is in investing in ensuring that the customer satisfaction uh, is achieved and it becomes paramount. So make sure the quality of the products that you're picking and packing, the way you're picking and packing, the way the order is, is, is transitioned, uh, remains really key. The second, the second big bucket, and I, I would say these are in order of priority, the second big bucket is the operational process that you are using from the moment you get the order. So how are you, how are you preparing yourself to pick and pack? What is your process for picking and packing the orders? Are you doing single order? Are you doing multiple order? And then how are you staging? And a lot of retailers forget the staging aspect. Uh, it, is, it is the element of where you are handing off an order to a customer. So the time, the time you take to retrieve the order, how you walk it out to the consumer can burn as much in, in resource time as when you're picking and, and packing an order. So understanding that chain of events from an operational perspective uh, is very, very paramount for, for a retailer. The, the other one, and sometimes overlooked by the retailer, but not necessarily overlooked by the marketplace providers, the Instacarts and the DoorDashes of the world, is how are you giving a sense of notification, convenience, and messaging your end customer to say, here's where we are in your order process. It's mm -hmm. ready, you know, we've, or we're making a substitute, substitution. Are you okay with this substitution? Um, your order's ready for pickup and so on. I find more often, more often than not, there's a romance around the global aspect of the technology being used, but without really fundamentally understand where in these three buckets does this fit in and how is it driving convenience and satisfaction for the consumer? Uh, it's, and, and again, I encourage retailers to put the customer at the center of the experience. How are you going to close that loop to make sure that they are not only happy with the current service you're providing, but you know, driving them back into uh, into your website, into your mobile application.